The mayor of the city of Winduk, Francina Kahongo, said that with the increase of the COVID-19 pandemic and hepatitis E, amongst others, it is hindering the process and has become a challenge. The city of Winduk set out a vision to become a smart and caring city by 2022. With an increasing number of people living in informal settlements, concerted efforts are needed to transform the current informal settlements into sustainable human settlements where households will be guaranteed a decent standard of living. The increasing cases of COVID-19 and the persisting hepatitis E pandemics, amongst others, are making the attainment of such a vision challenging. At the recent meeting, Council has responded to the Minister's call and resolved that, amongst others, a technical team chaired by the Human Settlement Division be appointed to come up with a decongestion plan for informal settlements, which then needs to be submitted to the Management Committee and Council for approval. The type or nature of decongestion or relocation that has been identified or recommended or has been decided to be undertaken. The availability of an alternative land or area where the people can be moved or relocated. This has to indicate the proximity, the size and other related issues. Is the said land now where you are putting now the Epe people? Minister asked, is the said land or area planned or surveyed and does it have basic services such as water, electricity, sewer on it? If the identified sites are not surveyed, planned and have no basic services, you have to estimate for basic and critical work. Kahungo further said the decongestion of the informal settlements is the first step towards the formalization of informal settlements and providing dignified shelters to the people.